I don't know how the man's like 55. I, I, read, some, I read something either on Twitter or on Reddit. RVD is the same age Ric Flair was when Flair came back to WWE as like the co-owner of WWE and <laughs> started what was like his last long run in WWE. So, damn, time is a crazy place. Um, well, it's imagine what you look like when you really just smoke and don't drink, and then you also do a lot of yoga. <laughs> so, yoga. Well, yeah, tantric yoga. <laughs> doesn't doesn't smoke? You say? I said smoke and don't drink. Oh, that you do smoke and don't drink. I was gonna be like. And, and he does a lot of yoga, I assume. I know yeah. he does tantric yoga. Uh, his, uh, his power lift record finally uh, got broken. Oh, really? The Van, the Van Dam lift, somebody finally broke his record. Wow. Um, another world champion defeated, Swerve Strickland tweeted. He is he is amassing quite the uh, quite the resume. He really I, is. That's why he's the number one contender right now. I, I adored this matchup when RVD first came out. I was like, oh, that's fun. It'll be another like win for Swerve that he, that'll make him look good. But when they made it a hardcore match, which, by the way, is this the first time they refer to a match as a hardcore match in AEW? Perhaps explicitly. Yeah. Like, I know we've had no DQ matches. I know we've had other extreme type of matches but this is, I think, the first time they've used the words hardcore match. And I'm interested to see if they're trying to go for a trademark here to see if WWE is going to push back on them. Hmm. But uh, regardless of that, fun matchup. RVD looked great, even in loss. He's doing exactly what someone should be, someone in his position should be doing. Yeah. Having a good matchup that gets the crowd going, but still putting the talent over. He, he did a great job of making Swerve feel like a real threat. He, he didn't go down to the first thing or even the second thing.